Hello everyone. Today we're going to be going over the countertops library. We have several different types to suit a variety of needs, so let's just jump right into it. First we have a straight countertop. This has parameters at the type level to have either a radius corner or a nice sharp 90 degree corner. You can change those in here by changing these quarter radius parameters to zero. And you'll notice that when it was radiused, the apron and side splashes were offset to meet the edge of that radius arc. And here they come nicely and just meet to the corner. We also have a waterfall countertop where the countertop rides up, across, and continues down. We have two ADA drop countertops. One with the drop on the side, which you can change by either rotating with the spacebar or selecting, as you'll see over here, either of these, uh, this left-right flip grip here. Uh, all of these are instance-based. Uh, for length, we also have one where the drop is in the middle. We have a double angle countertop where the angle of the edge can be controlled. This is set at a plus or minus uh, system up to 60 degrees either direction. Negative goes in towards the center, positive angles go out. We have a straight countertop with a curved projection front. And we have several varieties of L shapes. So we have a standard inside corner, uh, a L with a chamfer for the inside. We have an outside corner. We have one that makes an obtuse angle, and this goes anywhere from 91 to 269 degrees. And then we have one that makes an acute angle. This goes from 45 to 89 degrees. So that should fit every need you have for an, an angled or an L countertop. And we also have our pretty standard U over here. Now we're going to go over the origin point and placement of the families. With the exception of the families that involve an angle, uh, parametric angle specifically, uh, all of our countertop families have an origin point justified to the back left corner. And anytime you take any of our families, you can hit the spacebar and they will rotate around a 90 degree angle. So you can orient them to any direction you need. And they'll also snap right up against things and get a nice clean corner placement. We're also going to discuss some additional placement methods, uh, such as being able to flip it. Now, all of our countertops also have these flip grips for vertical or horizontal flip. And all you have to do is have one highlighted and select one, and it will flip about its origin point. Now we're going to go over the stretch capabilities of the countertops. All of them have an instance-based length parameter, uh, but all of the ones except for the controllable angle countertops have these stretch grips on either side. So you can stretch those out any direction, however you want, or you can go over here to your properties palette and just put in what size you want, and it will flex accordingly. Uh, now that works for all of them, uh, again, except for the ones with a parametric angle. Now for the ADA drops, uh, those countertops also have the stretch on either side, but depending on what side you have uh, the ADA drop on will affect whether or not that stretches the ADA drop or the main length of the countertop. And those also both have uh, instance parameters over in the properties palette, so you can change those however you want and it will just stretch accordingly. Now for the ADA countertop with the center drop, uh, the stretch grips just stretch it out in either direction, but will not affect the length of the ADA drop in the center, which is also controlled uh, equidistantly from the center itself. So if you want to make that bigger, you type it in and it will always extend from the center. We also have for the countertops, for the ones that have a controllable angle, you'll note that there's no grips here, just as we discussed previously, and all of the angles are controlled at the instance level over in your properties palette here. 
Uh, for the straight double angle countertop, the one we have shown here, these angles for the left and right go from plus to minus 60 degrees. Uh, a positive angle extends out from the countertop, and a negative angle extends inward. So we'll change a couple of those just to kind of show off how it works. And you can flex these to really anything within those parameters, so it fits quite a wide variety of needs. Now lastly for angles, we're going to talk about how the angles are controlled uh, using the same principle as with the straight double angle for our obtuse and acute angled countertops. Uh, as stated, they work basically the same. You go over here to your properties palette, and for the obtuse, you can put in any angle from 91 all the way to 269, and it will flex as needed. Now for the acute, it works under the same principle, but it will go from 45 to 89 degrees. And with all of these together, that should cover any need you have for an angled countertop. Now we're going to take a look at how the countertops all have, again at the instance level, uh, over here in the properties palette, the option for showing the apron, the backsplash, or either side splash. And each individual instance of that has these options. So you can toggle on or off any of those that you would like, and you can see the results. So you can really fit any kind of graphical need that you have. Now we're going to talk about how all of our counters, the entire library, also has special subcategories so that when you bring up your graphical overrides menu, you can go ahead and just turn any of those off. So you can hide the countertop, the apron, or the backsplash, and that will only affect the view you're in. So to demonstrate, I'm going to do this in my standard floor plan. And you can see that the apron and backsplash have been hidden, but in the 3D view, they're still there. So this allows for a lot of flexibility to clean up plans, but still have some nice 3D options. Now we've discussed uh, how these countertops are made to work with our sink library, so we're going to do a brief demonstration of that. So we have our, uh, our single sink loaded in, and once you have it in, you want to make sure that you're set to uh, place on face. And you're just going to go ahead and plop it in there where you want, and as you can see, there was no cutting or special uh, steps required. You just make sure it's set to place on face and you drop it in. And finally we're going to talk about how we've come up with some schedulable shared parameters for the countertop library. Uh, we have a countertop depth parameter which simply reports the greatest depth if there's more than one depth for the countertop. Countertop frontage which reports the total front length of any exposed front edge of all of the countertops, and the length overall, which will combine the lengths of any legs. This has been the overview of our countertop libraries. If you liked what you saw, feel free to reach out via either phone or email, and we will get you set up with a copy. Thank you.